How is information stored in DVDs? Until the last decade of the 20th century, movies, songs and other information were largely stored on VHS tapes and other analog tools, which were based on 1930s magnetic tape technology. However, in the late 1990s, DVDs entered the market, and played an influential role for youngsters growing up in the 2000s. DVDs became synonymous with new movies, computer games and songs. Tech giants like Sony, Microsoft and Sega quickly adopted the technology and created flagship gaming consoles PlayStation and Xbox, all of which were DVD-based. Overview of DVDs DVD is an abbreviation for Digital Versatile Disc. A DVD is an optical disc, that uses light to read and write the stored data on a flat disc. Digital data is a sequence of zeros and ones, binary numbers. A DVD stores data in a binary format. This data is then converted into its original analog counterpart using conversion algorithms. A DVD is essentially an upgrade to a CD, compact disc, as the underlying technology is the same in both, but a DVD is tweaked such that far more data can be stored within the same physical volume. DVDs can be classified into two categories based on functionality, read-only and rewritable. Data storage on DVDs. DVDs store data on a thin and long spiral track running around the disc. The reflecting layers in read-only DVDs and rewritable DVDs work slightly differently. Let's take a look. Read-only discs. In this type of DVD, the bottom layer consists of a transparent polycarbonate, PC, layer. One side of the PC remains flat, and on the other side, a spiral cavity is imprinted, called a track. The cavity is not continuous, as there are small obstructions, which means absence of cavities along the length of the spiral, resulting in a spiral track with breaks. Areas containing a cavity are called pits and areas devoid of a cavity are called lands. Think of it as a long single lane road with speed breakers placed intermittently. A reflective sheet made of aluminum is placed behind this side of the PC layer. The sheet is shaped such that it perfectly covers the pits and lands. Think of the interface between two joined Lego bricks, one brick is PC and the other brick is aluminum. A low power laser is shown on the flat side of the PC when in use. Since the PC layer is transparent, the light ray travels though it and reaches the other side containing the imprint, pits and lands. The aluminum sheet reflects the ray back and a sensor detects the reflected ray. Since the disc keeps rotating, the laser strikes the pits and lands in the sequence in which they are imprinted. Whenever a transition occurs from a pit to a land or vice versa, the intensity of reflected light reaching the sensor changes. Higher intensity light is given logic 1, and lower intensity is given logic 0. Thus, the sensor detects the data as a sequence of zeros and ones by detecting every change in light intensity. DVD-ROM has pits and lands imprinted during the manufacturing process itself. DVD Dasher does not have the pits and lands imprinted during manufacturing. The disc comes dyed, instead of with an aluminum sheet. To write data onto such a disc, a red laser, 650 nanometers, burns off areas on the die, darkening those spots. Dark and light spots reflect light differently, which is measured in the detector when reading the disc. Rewritable discs. Rewritable DVDs also have a thick PC layer at the bottom boasting the same properties as read-only discs. However, the reflecting layer is made up of a phase change solid that alters its molecular structure at different temperatures. The two phases are crystalline and amorphous. At low temperatures, the molecular structure of the solid remains crystalline, and at higher temperatures, the structure changes to an amorphous configuration. The reflectivity of the material depends on its phase. When a red laser, 650 nanometers, is shown on a DVD-RW, light travels through the PC layer and reaches the phase change material. The temperature of the illuminated area rises and a phase change occurs from crystalline to amorphous, and a new molecular structure is attained. Due to the rotation of the disc, the previously illuminated area moves away and its temperature falls. This fall in temperature crystallizes the new structure. Areas with different molecular structures correspond to the illumination of the region by the right laser. When a low-powered read laser is shown, the reflected ray intensity at the detector changes according to the region being illuminated. 